I tried to keep your laws without regret, but I'm easily distracted and forget. So write them on my heart, seal them in my mind. The beauty of your law and grace combined remind me just how lovely your commandments are, and write them on the And I know the only way that I can grow is for you to come inside and take control. So write them on my heart, seal them in my mind. The beauty of your law and grace combined.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of the new videos we're uploading.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a beat of our new content.
good are always happy, and their path is ever bright. Let us heed the blessed counsel, shun the wrong and love the right. Always cheerful, always cheerful, sunshine all around we see. Full of beauty is the path of duty, cheerful we may always be. Cheerful we may always, cheerful we may always,
Jesus says, follow me. It's one of the easiest commands in the Bible, one of the shortest ones, only two words. But it's so hard to obey. Every time I try, I try to be patient. I try to think good thoughts, to tell the whole truth, to do the right things that Jesus would do. But somehow I always come up short. I try to keep up with Jesus, following him on his path. But I always trip on a rock or run into a tree or fall off a cliff. Even when I try my hardest and use all my strength, I'm useless. Why can't I just do it right? Am I just worthless? I know he has a purpose for me, but if I can't even follow him, how can he show it to me? And how can I fulfill it? Why can't I just do what God designed me to do? And if I can't, why am I here? I'm just an empty body. But that's why Jesus tells me to follow him. Because when I follow, I'm not just walking behind him, he's leading. Like a shepherd, he tenderly guards his sheep, going before me to make sure there's no danger ahead. He holds my hand, so when I fall, he pulls me back up to my feet so I can keep following. If I let go and I try to walk in my power, I'll still fall, but his mighty arm will hold me up, reminding me to walk in his strength. Letting him lead, I can follow to fulfill his purpose for me. Lord, I want to follow you. I know you alone can carry me through. So here's my prayer. Gentle shepherd, come and lead us, for we need you to help us find our way. Gentle shepherd, Gentle Shepherd, I have distrusted your voice and passed by your outstretched arm day after day. I have tried to do it on my own, through my own strength, for my own glory. I have been squandering the time you have given me, enjoying my own pleasure. Please forgive me and help me find your way. Show me your purpose for my life and please help me fulfill it. Lift this weak lamb from the ditch I've fallen into and onto the path you've chosen for me. Feed me with your word and give me strength to walk the rugged path of life. Lead me to lead others to your perfect pasture. Give me the humility to work for you with no thought of my own praise. There's no
to help us find our way. Test, test, testing. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently. Cross of grief or pain, leave to thy God to order and provide in every change he faithful. Where 
when we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word. What a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Oh, thou God of all the 
depth of mercy can there be mercy still reserved for me can my god his wrath forbear me the chief of sinners spare heaven find me on my knees hear my soul Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time. my heart today that is why I've come to pray you see all I have inside all the things I try to hide Jesus I Yeah.
Be faithful, soon Jesus will come, for whom we have waited so long. Oh, soon we shall enter our glorious home, and join in the conqueror's song. Oh, brother, be faithful, for why should we prove unfaithful to him who has shown? Such deep, such unbounded and infinite love, who died to redeem us his own. O brother, be faithful, the city of gold, prepared for the good and the blessed, is waiting its portals of pearl to unfold, and welcome thee into thy rest. Then, brother, prove faithful, not long shall we stay, in weariness here and forlorn. Time's dark night of sorrow is wearing away, we haste to the glorious morn. O brother, be faithful, he soon will descend, creation's omnipotent king. While legions of angels his chariot attend, and palmries of victory bring. O brother, be faithful, and soon shalt thou hear Thy Savior pronounce the glad word. Well done, faithful servant, thy title is clear To enter the joy of thy Lord. O brother, be faithful, eternity's years Shall tell for thy faithfulness now. When bright smiles of gladness shall scatter thy tears, a coronet gleam on thy brow. O brother, be faithful, the promise is sure that waits for the faithful and try to reign with the ransomed, immortal and pure, and ever with Jesus above. You may 
Thank you. 
If you but trust in God to guide you and place your confidence in Him, you'll find Him always there beside you to give you hope and strength.
dying Snatch them in pity from sin and the grave We pour the erring one Lift up the fallen Tell them of Jesus the mighty to save Rescue the perishing Care for the dying Jesus is merciful Jesus will save As 
take care of you. God will take care of you.
dawned upon me that this road I travel on is a pathway unreturning that my life will soon be gone. Yet even now, as I'm held captive, Christ's name I only praise. These trials I'm facing last but few days. For I know I fought a good fight, and I know that I've kept the faith, even though my destruction is at hand. I can sing because I see the truth has set me free, and I know I will live with Him one day eternally. Even though it all seems hopeless, even though I'm tightly bound, I am strengthened, my mind is free, I know I am heaven bound. For I know I fought a good fight, and I know I've kept the faith, even though my destruction is at hand. I can sing because I see the truth has set me free, and I know I will live with Him one day, eternally. When Jesus comes again, one bright and shining day, He'll take me by the hand, and I know I'll hear Him say, Welcome home, my precious child. Welcome home, my beloved friend. Even though the darkness often seems too gray, I rejoice because you prove that you are strong and true. So come, enter in and live with me.
has found a resting place not in a man-made creed i trust the ever living one that he for me will please enough for me that jesus says this ends my fear and doubt a sinful soul died and rose again for me. My soul is resting on the Word, the living Word of God. Salvation in my Savior's name, salvation through Physician heals the sick, the lost he came to save. For me his precious blood he shed, for me his life he gave. I need no other evidence, I need no died and rose again for me. My Jesus knows, he knows when I am lonely, yes, he, knows. he knows each pain, he sees each tears, he, he understands his lonely heart aches, he understands and always cares, my Jesus knows just what I need, oh yes he knows just what I need, he satisfies Yes, he knows just what I need. When other friends seem to forget me, when skies are dark and hope seems gone, by faith I feel his arms around me and hear him say, You're not alone. My Jesus knows just what I need. 
Yes, he knows just, just what, I what I need. He satisfies all and every need supplies. Yes, he knows just what I need. Yes, he knows just what I
to be the king of a vast domain, for he held in sin's dress I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world.
take the loads beside the sea. Beyond the sacred page, I see thee, Lord. My spirit pants for thee, O Peace. 
City, I through grace a member of let the world deride or piety. I will glory in thy name, fading is the worldling's pleasure, all his boasted pomp and show. Solid joys and lasting treasure, none but Zion's children know. Mula ba tayo? Okay, for our next song, let us sing hymn number 422, Marching to Zion. Come with 
that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord and the soul round the throne and the soul round the throne. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let those refuse to sing who never knew our God. But children of the heavenly King, but children of the heavenly King, we speak their joys abroad, we speak their joys abroad. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. The hills of <coughs> Zion shields a thousand sacred sweets. Before we reach the heavenly fields, before we reach the heavenly fields, or walk the golden streets, or walk the golden streets, we're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Then let our songs abound and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground to fairer words on high, to fairer words on high. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. For opening song, let us stand and let us sing our Sabbath school theme song. Oh, theme song. Shall we all stand? Nagliwanag ang aral ng Sabado na kamit na ang layunin nito nagkagumpay ang mga palat na pag-asa pagka si Jesus ang namunguna Buhay ang Sabado ng Eskwela, siyang puso ng Iglesia. Lumalag ko tayo'y nagbubunga sa mabuting pabalita. Pagkibahagi ang bawat isa, manalangin huwag magduna. Sapagat ang Diyos ang kasama, magbibigay gantimpala. 
tuwing Sabado, walang huli o liliban na damibliya, leksyon at awitan, kahandog at ikapoy, kalimutan araw-araw, leksyon pag-aralan. Buhay ang Sabadong Eskwela, siyang puso ng Eglesya. Lumalago tayo'y nagbubunga sa mabuting papalita. Makibahagi ang bawat isa, manalangin magmagluda. Sapagkat ang Diyos siya ang kasama, magbibigay ang timpala. Bawat isa ay may kanyang disipulo ilapit sa paana ni Kristo. Kapangyarihan ng banal sa Espiritu siyang tatapos gawain sa mundo. Buhay ang Sabadong Eskwela, siya ang puso ng Iglesia. Lumalago tayo'y nagbubunga sa mabuting papalita. Makibahagi ang bawat isa, manalangin huwag magduda. Sapagkat ang Diyos siya ang kasama, magbibigay kang timpala. Sapagkat ang Diyos siya ang kasama, magbibigay kang timpala. Good morning. I'm requesting everyone to please kneel as we have our opening prayer. Hello. Let's pray. Our most gracious and kind, loving Heavenly Father, we come to your holy presence this Sabbath morning. Our hearts are filled with joy and thanksgiving, Lord, for this another Sabbath day for us to rest and worship. May you be with each one of us, Lord, and may you guide us to keep the rest of the Sabbath day holy. May the praises that we sing and the messages we hear bring us closer to thee and prepare us for your soon return. Forgive us, Father, if we have failed thee in any way. May we feel your holy presence to be upon us and help us, Lord, that uh, whatever lessons we will be hearing, it will also be Bring us closer to you and make us disciples for your glory. Please uh, be with each one of us today and keep us safe. This we ask and pray in the most precious name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath! How are you today? I hope you are doing good and that you are happy to worship and meet with our Savior together with our brothers and sisters in Christ. If you are happy, can you welcome the people beside you and tell them, I am happy you are here today. Thank you. It's always a joy to worship with our brethren, right? So I am Seymour Rojas, and I gladly welcome you all to our Sabbath school program this morning. I would also like to extend my Sabbath greetings to everyone watching on Facebook Live and other social media platforms. Thank you for joining us in worship today. We praise God for sending His chosen servants who will lead us in our Sabbath school program. For our chorister, we have Brother Sam Palmon, and for our pianist, we have Dr. Hepaya. Our opening prayer was offered by Sister Shane Flair Bad, 
And after my part, we will be viewing our mission story entitled, Reluctant Seminary Student. After which, we will be hearing a special song by the Shan family. Then, a special feature will follow entitled, Media Ministries Making a Difference. This will also be a video presentation. Our lesson review will follow and we will do it by classes. And then our closing song and our closing prayer will be led by Brother Don Menard Bata. May we all be blessed as we commune with God and we fellowship with our brothers and sisters. Once again, happy Sabbath. Reluctant Seminary Student After giving his heart to Jesus as a teen, Stanislav became very active in his home church in Serbia. He preached many sermons, but the thought never entered his mind to become a pastor. Then the church pastor suggested that he go to a month-long retreat called, One Month for Jesus. Stanislav didn't want to go. The event was for young people, and he was close to 40 years old. He shook his bald head. But the pastor wouldn't take no for an answer. It will be interesting, the pastor said. No, I don't want to go, Stanislav said. If you don't want to go for yourself, go for the church, the pastor said. So, Stanislav went. To his chagrin, only one person was older than him at the retreat. He struggled to fit in with the young people. But a pastor took an interest in him. You should go to our Adventist seminary in Belgrade, the pastor said. No, I'm old, Stanislav said. Besides, I haven't gone to school in years. I've forgotten how to write. But the pastor was very persuasive. He was so passionate in his appeal that he and Stanislav even wept together. Okay, Stanislav finally said. But if I go to the seminary, I'll lose my job. I don't have the money to pay for tuition, and I have no savings. God will take care of that, the pastor said. Stanislav promised to pray and fast, and he did. Immediately, things started to happen. As Stanislav backed up his car at the retreat, another car hit him. He thought, you know, maybe this is a sign to go to the seminary. Then he played a game of soccer with the young people. As he went for the ball, he ran into a tree. Blood splattered everywhere. He thought, maybe this is a second sign. As he was resting later outdoors, something fell into his eye, causing it to swell shut. He thought, this is definitely a sign. I just need to get a little better, and then I will go. Then he went deaf in one ear. He prayed, okay, God. This is your will. I should go. I won't even wait for the retreat to end. At that moment, Stanislav sensed a voice ask, Would I do this to you? He thought, That's a good point. Even if it were God's will for me to go, he probably wouldn't do it this way. He stayed at the retreat. Afterward, he went to the seminary. But he wasn't convinced that he was pastoral material. He thought, Probably, I will fail the admission test. But he passed it. Then he thought of, fine, but I'm sure that I will fail the in-person interview when they question me about my life and motives. He prayed, God, please take this cup away from me. But your will, not mine, be done. Stanislav passed the interview and was admitted into the seminary. Stanislav didn't have enough money to cover the tuition. He hadn't received good marks in high school, and he was sure that no one would contribute to his financial needs. But to his surprise, money flowed into his account as he earned straight A's. He didn't know where the money was coming from, but it always covered his expenses. Exams were particularly scary. During his first year, Stanislav was particularly worried about a theology exam. He simply didn't have time to prepare for it after he was asked to do his own work on campus and the work of several students, who had left earlier. Stanislav only managed to study a third of the theology materials. He prayed, God, you know I didn't do this on purpose. I've done the best that I could do. I need help. 
When he sat down to take the exam, he found that all the questions were based on the materials that he had studied. He easily passed the exam. That day was a turning point for Stanislav. He realized that he needed to stay at the seminary and study. Stanislav went on to become one of the first seminary students to receive a full scholarship. When the once reluctant seminary student spoke with Adventist Mission, he was just weeks away from his graduation. From being a bad student, I'm now getting straight A's, which is pretty good, the 41 year old says. God is working. I couldn't have done it without him. Thank you for your 13th Sabbath offerings three years ago that helped open a new church in the greater metro area of Belgrade, Serbia, where Stanislav attended the seminary.
just remember I'm human and humans forget. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Amen for that song. Amen. During the heights of pandemic, if you can recall, and you were not able to go to church, can you remember how you spent your Sabbaths back then? What did you do? I'm sure most of us, now if not all, spent our Sabbaths watching online worship, right? Together with our families, together with our friends. Maybe some went to Facebook Live, others on YouTube channels, and still others on Hope Channel on TV. It was a difficult time during the pandemic, but the online worship were a source of strength and the only way where we can fellowship with our brothers and sisters. So this Sabbath, for our special feature, we will be viewing stories. Actually, these were mission stories last year, 2022, where we can see how media, media ministry has made a difference in the lives, not only in ours during the pandemic, but in the lives of other people around the world as well. Let us watch the video. We listen to different radio stations daily. However, we were not satisfied until one day when my husband stumbled upon Hope FM. He then invited me to listen to the many inspiring programs. From then on, we listened to Hope FM every day. Hope FM changed my life. Husband and wife, Bagaram and Clara, discovered Hope FM while searching for radio stations in Papua New Guinea that would fulfill Bagaram's appetite for music and information. Marana Samra Tok Tok today, that Bible and me contain him, Tok Tok, when we come to heaven, when we come to ground. Marana Samra Tok Tok today, we talk to me that God is the best plan for us. Bagaram was attracted to the sound of the new FM station and found himself listening to it more and more. He didn't realize it would change the course of his life. I came across Hope FM when I was searching for a radio station. I realized that Hope FM was new and different to me. I invited my wife to listen to the new radio station I had found. The radio station is unique and already impacting my life. My wife joined me in listening to the radio since last October. I didn't attend any church at that time. After listening to the radio station, I decided to attend church for the first time. My family began to notice changes happening in my life. My children were also happy about the changes. Conflicts between my children and I ended I am convinced about my choice to worship on Sabbath. My choice is a blessing to my family. It wasn't long before Bhagaram invited Jesus into his heart and decided to become a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. He's not only become a disciple, but a disciple maker as well, inviting his family to follow his newfound faith. It was Hope FM that convinced me. It brought light into my life. I was truly convicted by the truth. I then shared my newfound truth with my family. The experience was awesome and exciting. Bagaram can't read, so Clara reads the Bible to him. They follow Bible lessons from the radio. Their faith grows each day as they spend this time studying together. I listen to Hope FM every day. 
I'm thankful to Hope FM, which brought change into my life. We praise God for media ministry reaching far and wide. These programs reach listeners in the mountains, across the valleys, and along the coastlines of Papua New Guinea, transforming lives. This quarter, a portion of the 13th Sabbath offering will go to reach more people like Bagaram and Clara through Hope FM Radio and Hope Channel Television. Please give to this special opportunity to spread the message of hope. Thank you for supporting the 13th Sabbath offering. We started in our garage, but uh, we kind of progressed to a studio that we've over the last eight years built up and um, servicing us very well at the moment. Kimberly and Robert were called by God to do media ministry for children in Australia. At the time, Kimberly started writing songs and Robert was working at Sanitarium Health Food Company. One day as Robert was working, God revealed a plan. God spoke to me in the oven and said, look, you know, I've got this, we've got, I've got this ministry for you guys. Uh, I want you um, to do, not just do songs, but, um, you know, media. And he, he also said that the, this house, the house that I actually grew up in but wasn't living in at the time, was going to be the, like the headquarters in the future. I came home and told Kimberly and she said, I'm not living in that house. <laughs> but they felt impressed to follow God's will. They moved in, built a studio, and now after many challenges, run a fully operational children's media ministry. The King's Kids program began at the beginning of the pandemic. As churches closed their doors, there was a need for more children's programming. Within a week of their first brainstorming meeting, a small team recorded the first episode of King's Kids. They have continued to put out an episode every week since, focused on discipleship and based on the primary Sabbath school lesson. They've produced more than a hundred episodes. If you came to our house, you would see it's been converted into a studio. We have a control room, a studio, which is where we are at the moment. We have uh, hundreds of puppets mm -hmm. and lots of characters, lots of children and, and a yeah. lot of people that are helping to support and be a part of this project. Yeah. Getting right to the heart of families and how we can connect them and develop their relationship with Christ. And Kimberly and Rob show that in everything they do, in the way they treat us as their staff, in the way they support us and in the way um, we challenge each other to move forward with the projects that we're working on. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. And now God has put a new project on their hearts. The King's Kids program that we're currently producing is a real discipleship one, which is trying to make a, a difference to children that already know something about God. But there's a project that we're working on and developing at the moment called The Rescue, which is going to be a real evangelistic project for children and families that don't know about God, that haven't been brought up in church, that don't know about Jesus. And the only time they've heard God is in slang language. Mm. And so they're the ones that we really want to reach. And what we'll be doing is taking the story of salvation and looking at God as the rescuer, somebody who sees us, who loves us and has a plan for us, and how throughout time he has laid out this plan to come and rescue his people. This project is something that will be available free on multiple platforms. So we're really hoping to reach out and connect with families across the world. This quarter, a portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will help support the creation of The Rescue, a three-season series that travels through time and focuses on different aspects of the great controversy and how God has intervened to rescue His people. There's so much behind-the-scenes work that is put into a project like this. It's been a huge step of faith all the way through and sometimes we're not quite sure where the next bit of funding is going to come from, where the next bit of equipment is going to come from, the extra puppets, the sets, the design, cameras, lighting. There's so much involved. So that's what we need to continue to produce high quality kids content. Mm. And uh, without the help of um, people like yourself, that wouldn't happen as well as it does. So we need you guys, everybody, to jump in behind us and to support us with your funds, with your offerings. 
Thank you for planning a generous 13th Sabbath offering this quarter that will help share the love of Jesus with kids across the South Pacific and around the world. We praise God for using the pandemic as an opportunity to spread His words, not through the media ministry. We will now proceed to our lesson review. We will be doing it by classes. I would like to request our Sabbath school teachers to please proceed to your assigned classes.
Pagliligtas sa atin. Wala nang ibang istorya na tinatawag na pinakamakasaysayan kundi yung pagliligtas ng Panginoon sa buong sangkatauhan. The drama of the story is heightened by knowing that we are not mere spectators of some else rescue but witness of our own. So hindi lang pala Uh, nakikita natin kung paano linigtas ng Panginoon ang mundo kundi tayo ay kasama dito. So, hindi lang kumbaga, nakikita natin o pinapanood natin ang nangyayari kung paano linigtas ng Panginoon ang mundo kundi mismo ay sarili nating karanasan at yung buhay na ipinagkaloob ng Panginoon ay siyang kasama. Yung buhay na nasa atin na ipinagkaloob ng Panginoon ay kasama sa istorya or sa kasaysayang ito sa pagliligtas ng Panginoon. Here are the three points that summarize our lesson this week. So, tatlong punto para sa buod ng atin pong lesson sa linggong ito. Una, dapat nating alalahanin na tayo'y minsang namatay dahil sa kasalanan at tayo ay nabalot ng ano po? ng likas ng kasamaan. Yan. Sa Ephesians chapter 2, 1 and 2, ay 
Binabanggit po sa atin dito ang malungkot na realidad na nung tayo ay nabuhay sa mundong ito ay tayo nasa ilalim ng ano po ng kapangyarihan ng kadiliman. Inangkin ni, ni Satan ang mundong ito nung nahulog yung ating unang mga magulang sa pagkakasala. At ang bawat isa po sa atin, ang likas natin ay makasalanan. Ang takbo ng isip natin ay puros kasamaan. Ang laman ng puso natin ay puros makamundo. Nabubuhay tayo sa mga makamundong mga mga gawain. Ang kasayahan natin ay hindi makalangit, kundi makasanlibutan. Kaya ang sabi po dito, spiritually dead, practicing trespasses and sins as their regular pattern of life. So, nung una, ang buhay po natin ay ganun, nung tayo ay naisilang at tayo ay uh, lumaki, ang ating nakagisnan ay ang buhay na paglabag sa kalooban ng Panginoon. Walang ibang laman yung puso't isip natin, kundi yung gumawa ng mga bagay na hindi sang-ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ang ating kasayahan ay makamundo. Nakala natin ay yun talaga ang dapat natin gawin, pero yun pala yung mga bagay na yun ay hindi yun yung plano ng Panginoon para sa atin. So, tayo ay uh, nabubuhay dati or noon, wala sa ilalim o hindi sa ilalim ng biyaya at ng, ng katotohanan. At sabi rito, we're dominated by Satan, reflecting on the past lives of his hearers. Paul identifies two external forces that domi dominated them. The first of this is the course of this world. So makamundong isipan, in the customs and behavior in the society of Ephesus, that misshape human life into rebellion against God. So, nung tayo yung makasalanan, walang ibang laban yung ating puso't isipan, kundi ang makamundong mga gawain. Kaya, ang sabi rito, tayo napalayo sa Panginoon at tayo ay ibinilang bilang kaaway ng Panginoon. Nakakalungkot, di po ba? Nakakalungkot tayo yung kaaway ng Panginoon. Pero, ang sabi po rito, dahil sa dahil sa pag-ibig ng Diyos, dahil sa biyaya ng Diyos, tayo ay naibalik sa ating relasyon sa Ama sa pamagitan ng buhay ni Jesus. Yun po yung pangalawang uh, punto po dito. Pero yung buhay natin noon ay buhay ng sinasabi na pagiging kaaway ng Diyos, pagre-rebelde sa Diyos, tayo ay tinatawag ng mga tupang mga nawaglit or naligaw ang ating kasayahan ay yung mga bagay na kinamumuhian ng Panginoon. Pero, sabi ni Pablo, now the resurrected and exalted people of God. So tayo po ibinila ngayon o kumbaga uh, tayo ay ibinila ngayon bilang isang mga mananagumpay na ang mga anak ng Diyos ay binilang bilang isang ano po, kasama ng Diyos o ni Kristo sa kanyang kamatayan, sa paglibing, at sa muling pagkabuhay. Amen po? Lahat po ba tayo dito ay nakatanggap ng banal na bautismo? Nabautismuhan po ba tayo? Di po ba? At bago tayo nabautismuhan, napaunawa po ba sa atin ang kahalagahan at ang kahulugan ng bautismo? Napaunawa po ba sa atin? Pero nais ko pong banggitin sa inyo ngayon na ang sabi ni Pablo sa Romans chapter 6, 3 to 6, mababasa po natin dyan, na ang kahulugan at ang kahalagahan ng bautismo ay pinapaunawa sa atin na yung paglubog sa atin sa tubig ay simbolo ng kamatayan ni Jesus. At ang um, Pag-stay natin ng ilang segundo sa ilalim ng tubig ay sumisimbolo sa ano po? Sa paglilibing kay Jesus. At yung pag-aho naman natin sa tubig, yun ay sumisimbolo sa ano po? Muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. 
So sa pamamagitan pa ng bautismo, ay kasama tayo ni Jesus sa kanya sa pag sa kanyang kamatayan, sa paglibing at muling pagkabuhay. Kaya nga tinatawag tayo bagong linalang. Tayo tinatawag na ano po? Born again. Yan. Newness of life. Tayo nagsimula sa panibagong ano po? Pagsisimula ng buhay. Na kung noon tayo ay ano po? Nung noon tayo nasa ilalim ng kasalanan, ngayon ay nasa ilalim na tayo ng biyaya ng Diyos. Kung noon ay ang atin pong kagalakan ay ano po? Makamundong mga bagay, ngayon ang atin pong kagalakan ay makamakalangit ng mga bagay. Amen po? Kaya ang sabi po rito, sabi ni Pablo, noon tayo ay kaaway ng Diyos. Pero ngayon tayo po ay kaibigan at anak ng Diyos. Kaya, ang sabi po sa ating lesson, We are co-resurrected with Christ. Second, co-raised up with Christ. Napakaganda, no? So, sabi po rito, the participation of believers in Christ's ascension. Pangatlo, co-seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Napakaganda nito, mga kapatid. Bagamat wala pa tayo doon sa langit dahil si Kristo hindi pa dumarating, hindi pa tayo nakuha at nadala sa langit, pero ang presensya ni Jesus doon sa trono ng Ama na siya ay nakaupo sa kanang bahagi ng trono ng Ama, si Jesus pala ang ating representative. Si Jesus ang siya nagdadala ng ating presensya doon sa banal na trono ng Ama. Kung ating kinikilala si Jesus bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas. Maliban na lang kung hindi natin kinikilala si Jesus. Maliban na lang kung hindi pa natin natanggap si Jesus. Maliban na lang kung hindi tayo kumbensido sa kamatayan ni Jesus na siya'y katubusan ng ating kasalanan doon sa cross ng Kalbaryo. Pero ako po'y naiiniwala na lahat po tayo dito ay kumikilala at tumatanggap kay Jesus bilang tagapagligtas. Amen po? Meron pa po ba ditong hindi kumbinsido na si Jesus ay umibig sa atin ng lubos? Meron pa ba rito na hindi kumbinsido na yung buhay ni Jesus ang siyang katubusan sa ating kasalanan? Siguro naman po ay wala. Di po ba? Pero nais ko pong ideen, meron po tayong tinatawag na na mga hakbang spiritual o Uh, mga hakbang sa kaligtasan. Nais ko lang po i-insert dito yung tinatawag na justification, sanctification, and glorification. Alam ko familiar po ang, ang iba po sa atin. Justification, sanctification, and glorification. Sa panahon ng ating pagtanggap kay Jesus bilang tagapagligtas, we are justified by grace. Pero after na tayo tumanggap kay Kristo bilang tagapagligtas, mga kapatid, nagsisimula na sa atin ang pangalawang hakbang na tinatawag na sanctification process. Ano po ba ang sanctification process? After we accepted Christ as our personal Savior, tinatawag na pagsisimula ng bagong buhay kasama na si Jesus. Ibig sabihin, hindi na tayo nabubuhay sa ating pansariling kapakanan, hindi na tayo sumusunod sa sarili nating mga plano, kundi pinapahintunutan natin na ang Panginoon ang siyang magtuwid ng ating landas. Ibig sabihin, pinagahari natin yung Panginoon sa ating puso. Inahayaan natin siya na siya na ang manguna sa ating mga ano, mga hakbang. Sabi nga, may daang tila matuwid sa mata ng tao, pero ang dulo nito ay kapahamakan. Kaya tinatagubili natin kay Jesus ang ating buhay, Bagamat may kahirapan, may pagtitiis, may pagdurusa, may kalungkutan, may mga problema, pero alam natin na hawak ng Panginoon ang ating bukas, ang ating hinahar. Kaya ang buhay natin ngayon ay nasa proseso ng pagpapabanal. Buhay na may pagsisikap upang masunod ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Buhay na nagpapasakop sa kalooban ng Diyos. Buhay na... May pag-ibig sa Diyos. Buhay na may pag-ibig sa kapwa, 
at buhay na hindi ano po hindi makasarili. Alam niyo po tuwing umaga ginigising tayo ng Panginoon sa dalawang dahilan, general reason mga kapatid, ultimate reason to glorify God and to be a blessing to others. Yung buong kautusan ng Panginoon is to love God with all your heart and to love your fellow men as you love yourself. Di ba po? So yun yung buo. Kaya dito po sa buhay na proseso sa sanctification ay tayo ay nagsisikap na tayo ay sa araw-araw ay makapagtagubilin at masunod natin ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Ini-encourage ko pong bawat isa na pwede po kayo magdagdag. Pwede po kayo magtanong at atin pong pag-uusapan. Tutulong-tulungan ang kasagutan. At tingin natin sa Panginoon. Pangatlo, Now, save for all eternity. This is the promise of God, brothers and sisters, na hindi tayo habang buhay dito sa lupa. Hindi plano ng Panginoon na magpapatuloy ang mundong ito sa pagdurusa at kasalanan. Darating ang panahon na sabi ng Panginoon, wawakasan niya lahat ng ating mga suliranin. Wawakasan niya lahat ng ating kapagit- kapighatian. Wawakasan niya ang mundong makasalanan ito. Kaya sabi po, Paul documents that the salvation of the believers in Ephesus does not occur because of their good behavior. Nais pong iparating po sa atin, sabi ni Pablo, lagi niyang inuulit-ulit na ang kaligtasan ay hindi dahil sa ating kabaitan. Hindi tayo liligtas ng Panginoon dahil tayo ay matulungin. Hindi tayo liligtas ng Panginoon dahil tayo ay matapat sa pagbabalik ng ikapo. Hindi tayo liligtas ng Panginoon dahil tayo pala simba. O kung ano man yung ating mga kabanalan, katwiran, kabutihan, hindi po yun yung dahilan na tayo liligtas ng Panginoon. Ang kaligtasan ay dahil lang sa biyaya doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo na walang iba kundi si Jesus na ating tinanggap. Diba sabi nga po, sa Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, ano po sabi doon? For by grace ye are saved through faith. And this is not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. Kaya wala pong dapat ni isa na magmalaki or magmayabang. Ay, mabait ako, marami akong natulungan, marami akong naakay, marami akong donations. Hindi po yun, mga kapatid. Kundi tayo daluyan lamang ng pagpapala ng Diyos. Tayo daluyan ng inspirasyon, tayo daluyan ng kaligtasan, pero ang lahat ng bagay ay hindi atin. Lahat ng pinagkaloob, lahat ng ibinigay ng Diyos, yan ay isang mga bagay na pinagkatiwala ng Diyos. Na pinapaalalahanan pong bawat isa sa atin, na lahat ng mga bagay na meron tayo ay hindi atin. Yung mga bagay na yan ay pinagkaloob ng Diyos, pinagkatiwala ng Diyos para po sa kanyang iglesia, para po sa kalalago ng kanyang iglesia, at para po sa katatapos ng kanyang banal na gawain. Amen po? Kaya, mahalaga po ng mga bagay na meron tayo, ay ipahintulot natin na gamitin sa gawain ng Panginoon. Sabi po, their salvation is rooted in God's inexplicable love. Ano raw po? ang atin pong laging alalahanin dahil sa kabutihan, biyaya, at sa hindi mapaunawa o sa hindi ma-explain na pag-ibig ng Diyos. In mercy and love, God acts on their behalf in Christ Jesus. Resurrect them, them from spiritual death From the extreme death of utter spiritual death and grinding slavery, they are resurrected and conveyed to the heavenly places and seated with Christ on the cosmic throne. This divine intervention, though is no momentary phenomenon, it has real staying power, eternal durability because God intends 
to exhibit His grace towards them in Christ Jesus throughout all eternity. So, ibig sabihin po mga kapatid, ang kamatayan ni Jesus at ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus at ang kanyang pag-akyat doon sa trono ng Diyos na siya po ay itinanghan bilang mananagumpay. Lahat ng iyon ay kanyang ginawa para po sa iyo, sa inyo, sa akin, para sa ating lahat. Yung kingdom of glory mula sa langit ay bumaba. Tinatawag na kingdom of grace, yung biyaya ng Diyos. Ba kundi si Kristo na siyang tumubo sa atin. Amen po? Kaya alam niyo po, ang kaligtasan ay tiyak. Dahil ang ating mga pangalan ay isinasamo ni Jesus doon sa trono ng Ama. Christ was our representative to the heavenly throne. Amen po, mga kapatid? So, how God rescues us? Paano po tayo niligtas ng Panginoon? Paano po tayo binigyan ng pag-asa ng Panginoon? Dahil po sa Kanyang lubos na pag-ibig sa akin. Kung sa ilunggo pa, hindi matungkad na gugma sa ginoo. Sabi no? Hindi masukat ang lapad, ang lalim, ang lawak ng pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. Amen po? Purihin ang Panginoon. Meron po kayong katanungan, meron kayong karagdagan, meron kayong... Ano pa nga? Baka meron po kayong tanong, karagdagan, uh, mga corrections, baka meron po. Huwag po kayong mahiya. Napansin ko, tahimik po dito. Pero dalawa lang daw po ibig sabihin ng tahimik. Nakaunawa o hindi. Saan kaya tayo doon? Ha? Saan kaya tayo doon? Ako yung maasa at nananalangin na ito'y ating naunawaan. Kung paano tayo liniktas ng Panginoon. At pag naunawaan natin kung paano tayo liniktas ng Panginoon, tayo po ay tayo po ay matuturuan din paano tumugon. Ulitin ko po, pag naunawaan natin kung paano tayo ligtas ng Panginoon dahil sa kanyang pag-ibig, biyaya, pagmamalasakit, wala pong dahilan upang hindi tayo tumugon sa kanyang panawagan. Ang panawagan ng Panginoon, yung pag-ibig na ating natanggap, pag-ibig na ating naramdaman, naranasan, ay atin din pong maibahagi sa iba. That's the mission. That's our mission. Ang gawain ng Panginoon ay malawak pa. Marami pang mga tao na nangailangan ng presensya ng Diyos. At walang ibang makapagdadala, kundi ikaw. Kayo po. Kayo pong narito, kayo ang siyang gagamitin ng Panginoon bilang kanyang instrumento. Daluyan ng biyaya, ng pag-ibig, ng inspirasyon, ng kaligtasan upang mas marami pang mga tao ang maakay sa paanan ng Diyos at mahanda sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Magtulungan po tayo, tayo tumulong na magdagdagan ang kandidato ng langit. Madagdagan ang kukulasyon ng langit. Unahin po natin yung ating pamilya, mga kapatid. May mga member pa ba ng ating pamilya na wala pa sa paglilingkod? Hindi pa nila naramdaman ang pag-ibig ng Diyos? Simulan po natin sa ating sarili. Unahin natin yung membro ng ating tahanan kasi malungkot ang langit kung ang buong pamilya ay hindi maligtas. 
Hindi, I mean, malulong ko tayo pag may kulang. Pero masaya ang langit. Papahiri naman ang Panginoon ang luha sa ating mga mata. At ang pagluha, yun na yung huling pagluha na mismo si Jesus ang siyang papahid sa mga luha sa ating mga mata. Pero ang sabi nila, paano yan, pastor? Eh, matigas ang ulo. Ayaw talaga. Ayaw maniwala na may Diyos. Ayaw maniwala sa salita ng Diyos. Alam nga naman pilitin natin. Pero wag pong natin tuldukan habang may araw pa, bukas pa ang biyaya ng kaligtasan, habang may panahon pa, pagtyagaan, pagsikapan, luhuran at tangisan sa Panginoon. Walang imposible mga kapatid. Hanggang bukas pa, ang paanyaya ng Panginoon ng kaligtasan, pagsikapan natin na sila'y madala, maakay sa paanan ng Panginoon. At habang ating silang inaakay sa paanan ng Panginoon, masusumpungan natin mismo ang ating sarili na tayo'y nasa paanan ng Panginoon. Pag hindi po tayo nabisi sa gawain ng Panginoon, mga kapatid, mawawalay tayo sa piling ng Diyos. Pero pag busy tayo sa gawain ng Panginoon, nakikisang ko tayo sa gawain, kay group ministry, small group ministry, pag nabisi po tayo sa mga bagay na yan, lagi nating masusumpungan ang ating sarili sa presensya ng Diyos. Pero pag nabisi tayo sa mga makamundong mga bagay, naaliw tayo sa mga makamundong mga bagay, balang araw, masumpungan natin yung ating sarili. Napakalayo na pala natin sa Panginoon. Napakalayo pala natin sa Panginoon. Pero hindi pa naman huli yung panahon, hindi pa huli yung pagkakataon. Ang Panginoon ay nagtsatsaga din na nagpapaalala sa atin. Amen? Grabe talaga yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa atin. Maraming beses na natin siyang tinalikuran, maraming beses natin siyang sinaktan, binali wala ang kanyang salita, maraming beses natin siyang ikinahiya. Pero yung biyaya at pag-ibig ng Diyos ay patuloy na nagtsatsaga at nagtitiis na tayo maibalik sa kanyang biyaya o sa kanyang harapan. Amen po! Wala na po kayong tanong. Wala rin po kayong karagdagan. Maraming salamat po. Tayong lahat ay tumayo. Tayo po ay manalangin. Pwede po ba akong mag-request? Kayo po, sir. Sige po. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you po. God bless.
Blessing prayer, let us bow down our heads for a word of prayer. Our most gracious and kind, loving Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank thee, O Lord, for this excellent Sabbath school that we have had today. Father, help us to practice what we have been taught so that we can become like Christ and bear more fruit for the kingdom. Let everything we do be in line with your principles. Be with us as you continue worshiping your name and Grant us peace in our hearts. This we pray in your mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
it makes him sad to see the way we live. He'll always say, I forgive. I forgive. Lift up your hands, no need to mourn his hands, is stretched out still, for unto us a child is born, his promise to
this world had caused my Christ to stumble. Every grief and pain he endured for my salvation. Soon he will return and bring me up to heaven where all fears and tears are gone. There forever singing I am fearless because my Happy Sabbath, Church! Happy Sabbath! As we enter into our divine worship, let us all start with singing. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies, Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our grateful song of praise. Hymn number 565, For the Beauty of the Earth, 565. For our next song, let us sing, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah, 538, 538.
crowning jewel of creation, blessed and hallowed, sanctified. Hymn number 385, 385, crowning jewel of creation. Good morning and happy Sabbath po. Purihin ang Panginoon sa panibagong araw ng Sabbath na Kanya pong ipinagkaloob upang Siya po'y ating katagpuin at purihin at sambahin sa Kanyang kadakilaan. Sa umaga pong ito ay isang kagalakan na tayo po'y muling magkita at magkasama-sama na tanggapin ang biyaya at pagpapala ng ating Panginoon. Masaya po ba tayo ngayon, mga kapatid? Kung masaya po tayo, pakiabot po ng ating mga kamay sa ating mga kap- katabi at atin po silang bati ng isang maligayang araw ng Sabado. Okay, maraming salamat po. At ngayon, api, uh, amin pong napansin na marami po tayo ngayong mga, mga bisita. Dangan nga lamang ay hindi po natin uh, napalista ang mga pangalan. Maari na lang po ba natin na uh, patayuin? Okay lang po ba sa inyo na tayo pong lahat ay tumayo yung aming mga bisita? Ah... Uh, Lapit po tayo dito upang amin po kayong masilayan ng sabay-sabay. Mga bisita po natin sa mga families, sa mga mga friends na nag-invite, paki-assist po, pakipatayo po ng ating mga bisita po rito. Sige po, isang kagalakan po na kayo po ay aming makita at makasama sa araw ng Sabbath na ito. Sige po, tayo po'y umawit. I'm so glad. Sige, habang sila po'y lumalapit po dito, tayo po'y umawit. Salamat po, salamat. Sige po, meron pa po pa dyan. So
blood of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by the spot. Join us with Jesus as we travel this land. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. It's blood, I'm a part of the family of God. I belong in the fountain, where's my blood? Join us with Jesus as we travel this part. Family of God. The words, no longer an outcast, a new song I sing. Our take, we all share that peace. I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Jesus, as we travel this time, for a part of the family, a family of God. Okay po, maaari na po tayong bumalik. Maraming salamat po sa inyo, at welcome po kayong lahat. Balik-balik lang po kayo sa atin pong iglesia dito sa Adventist Hospital Church. At salamat din sa mga nag-invite, sa mga family na nagdala po sa kanila dito. Ang atin pong programa sa umagang ito, sa atin pong Hour of Worship, Ay nais ko po muna ng pasalamatan ang donor ng atin pong floral. Maraming salamat po, uh, Brother Lloyd Rivera. At sa bawat isa po na patuloy na tumutugon sa pangangailangan ng atin pong iglesia. Ang atin pong inspiration uh, ang nagpawit pong atin pong chorister. Welcome in Call to Worship, yours truly, Brother Alex Cortez. At ito po ay susundan ng Hymn of Adoration ng We Love Thy Sabbath Lord, Hymn number 300. At ito po ay susundan ng atin pong speaker sa kanya pong invocation. Then offertor reading, yours truly. At ito po ay susundan ng Receiving of Our tithes and offering. At awit po tayo ng bless thou the gifts. Then offertory prayer, yours truly. And hymn of praise, hymn number 198, It Can It Be. Ang manguna po sa ating pagbabasa para po sa ating pastoral reading and intercessory prayer, walang iba po kundi ang atin pong bisita rin from Koron, Brother Arnold Mamburaw. At tayo po ay aawit ng ating hymn of response, Almighty Father, hymn number 693. At para po sa ating Worship through music. Mapapakinggan po natin uh, si Sister Gian Larisa Portacion. At ang atin pong tagapagsalita sa umagang ito ay walang iba. Nagagamitin ng Panginoon bilang kanyang 
uh, epektibong instrumento, Dr. Pastor Orvillo Varona. At yan po'y susundan din ang atin pong uh, dedication through music, then prayer of dedication, then anthem of assurance. Ang atin pong serving deacons, Brother Felix Ponce de Leon, Brother Jason Castro, and Brother Ruben Mendoza. Our chorister, Sister Fane Johnson, sa atin pong piano, our pianist, Sister Lenny Pialago, our organist, Brother Alan Makalintal. Nawa ang atin pong pagsamba sa araw ng Sabbath na ito ay maging isang pagpapala po sa ating lahat. At maitoon po natin ang ating puso't isipan doon sa Panginoon sa langit at ang mga maka makamundong mga bagay ay atin munang uh, iisan tabi. At nawa ang ating pagsamba ay maging katanggap-tanggap sa harap ng Panginoon at sa ating pananalangin habang tayo nagpapatuloy sa ating programa ay atin po itong maisagawa. Maraming salamat po and happy Sabbath. Holy, holy, holy. Shall we all kneel? Father which art in heaven, prepare our hearts and mind for your message of the hour that will strengthen our faith in thee. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.
Before we receive our tithes and offerings, these are tithes and offerings treating from Indonesia. Title Spiritual Light for the Blind. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering. Mr. and Mrs. Mufu live in Zimbabwe in Southern Africa. They raise cattle and acknowledge that their Mundari is an Adventist man living in the city of Manado, Indonesia. He enjoys making new friends for Jesus. One day after work, Mundari was tired and wanted to get a message. He went to a rehabilitation center for the visually impaired and asked if a student could give him a message. The center had just finished a training course in massage and one of the students gladly offered to practice his new skills on Mundari. During the message, Mundari chatted with a student about work and life in general. Then he talked about how God changed his life. He quoted several Bible verses to the student. He talked, grow deeper, and by the end of the mas massage, the student wanted to know more about Mundari's faith. The simple massage marked Mundari's friendship not only with the student, but with others in the rehabilitation center. It didn't take long before Mundari started a ministry among the staff and students of the rehabilitation center. The rehabilitation center allows worship services for their Christian students, which created opportunities for Mundari and members of the Adventist church to minister to the students. We are happy to have the Adventists reach out to our visually impaired friends here, said a staff member at the rehabilitation center. These people need to feel accepted and cared for. They need compassion and support from the community around them. Their goal is to live independently and be accepted by society. We are grateful for the activities conducted here by the local Adventist church. Their regular visit tells us that Adventists really care. Some organizations visit once a year, but the Adventist Church makes it a priority to visit us regularly. Mundare invited the visually impaired to worship the Adventist Church. Many accepted his invitation. It brings joy to our hearts to see the visually impaired people singing praises to God. Mundari said, Mundari and the Adventist Church members have shown God's love to their visually impaired friends just as Jesus did when he was on earth. The results are new members in the body of Christ. Besides our individual missionary work, God asked us to worship him with our tithes and offerings, regularly systematically offerings called promise. Those funds will be used to provide light for those who are still spiritually impaired around the world. Let us join Jesus' army. Now our deacons are ready to receive our tithes and offerings.
o dakilang Diyos, banal at mahabagin. Maraming salamat, takilang Diyos, sa saganang pagpapala na inyo pong ipinagkaloob sa inyo pong bayan. Maraming salamat sa kalusugan, kalakasan, buhay na patuloy nyo pong ipinagkakatiwala. Salamat din, Panginoon, na sa araw ng Sabbath na ito, ang bawat isa ay kagalakan kasama ng aming pagsamba ang makapagbalik ng tapat ng aming ikapu at handong. Patuloy po namin inihiling ng inyong pagpapala na siyang amin pong makamtan ang kalusugan at ang patuloy na kasaganahan na nagmumula po sa inyo. Na ayon sa inyo pong pangako, patuloy nyo pong ipuprovide ang pangailangan ng inyo pong mga anak, lalo na kami Panginoon na inyo rin ginagamit na kasangkapan sa pagpapalago ng inyo pong iglesia at sa ikatatapos na inyo pong banal na gawain. Pagpalain ang mga halagang narito sa aming harapan na ito po'y magamit sa marami pang mga proyekto ng inyo pong iglesia at sa aming pong mga pastors na patuloy pong nangunguna sa pag-ibanghelyo. At pagpalain po ang bawat kamay, bawat pamilyang narito na aming representahan, ang patuloy na kasaganahan o siyang aming pong matamasa sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. And can it be? Team number 
Bago ko po babasahin ang sentro ng atin pong uh, pag-aaral sa magang ito, sa lahat po ng mga kapatid na naririto, kung mayroon po kayong mga pasasalamat sa atin pong Panginoon at mga kahilingan na nais nyo pong uh, ilapit natin sa atin pong Panginoon. Ito po yung uh, pagkakataon at inanyayahan ko po kayo na uh, kayo po ay pumarito sa atin pong harapan at sama-sama po nating ilapit sa atin pong Panginoon. At para po sa atin pong uh, susing talata, akin pong uh, babasahin sa aklat po ng uh, Mateo chapter 10 verse 30 and uh, 31. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered, fear not. Therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Tayo po ay uh, magalang na lumhod para sa atin pong panalang. Diyos na nagmamayari ng amin pong mga hiram na buhay, sumagang ito, Panginoon, amin ka pong uh, pinapapurihan at sinasamba sa Espiritu at Katotohanan. Tunay po, Panginoon, na kayo po ay uh, makapangyarihan sa lahat at dakila na Diyos sa amin pong, pong mga nararanasan sa amin pong buhay na magpapatunay na kayo po ay Diyos na buhay at Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Kaya narito, Panginoon, ang iyong pong bayan sa mga oras na ito. Binabalik ang amin pong pinakamataas na papuri at pasasalamat sa iyong pong pangalan. At sa umagang ito, Panginoon, kami rin po ay lumalapit sa iyong pong harapan, nagpapakumbaba ng amin pong mga, kas- mga sarili. Amin pong uh, kinikilala, Panginoon, na kami po ay makasalanan. Kaya naman, Panginoon, sa mga oras na ito, Inyo po kaming linisin at patawarin sa lahat ng mga pagkakasala na amin pong nagawa, sa lahat ng amin pong mga pagkukulang, sa amin pong mga ginagawa sa araw-araw, Panginoon, sa amin pong mga pag-iisip, sa amin pong mga pananalita na kami po ay inyo pong nasumpungan na nagkasala. Inyo po kaming patawarin, Panginoon, nang sa gayon, Panginoon, kami po ay maging karapat dapat sa inyo pong harapan. Kaya Panginoon, salamat din po Panginoon sa umagang ito na kami po ay niyo pong binigyan ng pagkakataon na patuloy na makapagsamba sa inyo pong harapan. Salamat Panginoon sa inyo pong mga pagpapala na patuloy po naming nararanasan, na patuloy po naming tinatanggap sa inyo Panginoon. Salamat din po Panginoon sa mga pagsubok na siyang amin pong uh, napagpanagumpayan mga pagsubok na amin pong naranasan na kung saan Panginoon, kami po ay patuloy na naririto, patuloy na nangahawak ng matatag sa amin pong uh, pananampalataya, Panginoon. At sa umagang ito, Panginoon, isa pong uh, uh, kagalakan, isa pong uh, privilege na kami po, Panginoon, ay muling makalapit sa inyo at maka, may dala ang amin pong mga pangangailangan, ang amin pong mga kailingan sa inyo pong harapan. Sapagkat alam po namin, Panginoon, na wala po kaming ibang malalapitan, kundi kayo lamang po, Panginoon, sapagkat kayo po ang amin pong Diyos. 
Kaya narito, Panginoon, ang amin pong dalangin sa umagang ito sa mga kapatid namin na nakakaranas ng mga suliranin sa buhay, mga kapatid namin na nakakaranas ng kalungkutan, pagdadalamhati at mga pagsubok, Panginoon. Akin pong dalangin ang iyong pong banal na espiritu, ang siyang patuloy na iyong pong ipagkaloob sa kanila upang mag-aaliw sa kanila at kayo po, Panginoon, ang iyong pong presensya ay patuloy po nilang maramdaman, Panginoon, at tulungan na magkaroon ng uh, solusyon sa lahat ng mga pagsubok, mga problema na amin pong nararanasan, Panginoon, sa mga oras na ito. At akin din pong uh, dinadalangin, Panginoon, ang mga kapatid namin na nakakaranas ng karamdaman physically at spiritually, Panginoon, na inyo pong uh, dalawin at inyo pong pagalingin, Panginoon, nang sa ganon sila po ay amin pong makasama patuloy na maglilingkod sa inyo, Panginoon, hanggang sa ikaw po ay dumating sa ikalawang pagkakataon. At narito, Panginoon, sa umagang ito, akin din pong uh, dinadalangin ang uh, inyo pong anak na inyo pong gagamitin upang magbibigay ng tinapay ng buhay na siyang uh, amin pong kailangan upang kami, Panginoon, ay patuloy na magiging matatag sa aming pong pananampalataya sa katauhan po ni Dr. Barona Akin pong dalangin, Panginoon, na siya po ay patuloy niyo pong uh, uh, bigyan ng makalangit na karunungan at ang banal na espiritu ay patuloy po na ipagkaloob sa kanya, Panginoon. At patuloy siyang ikubli sa inyo pong likuran ng sa ganun, Panginoon, kami pong lahat na naririto ay lubos na pagpapalain ng inyo pong mga salita. At kami po na makikinig ay bigyan din po kami ng uh, gabay ng banal na espiritu, Panginoon. At patuloy po na buksan ang amin pong mga puso't isipan ng sa ganun Panginoon, ang inyong pong mga salita ay amin pong uh, tatanggapin ng buong puso, Panginoon. At amin po itong magagamit upang kami po, Panginoon, ay patuloy na lumago. Salamat, Panginoon, sa inyong pong biyaya. Salamat sa inyong pong pag-ibig na inyong pong uh, pinangkaloob sa amin. Kaya kami po naririto ay sama-sama at nagkakaroon ng pagkakaisa na sambahin ka, Panginoon. Salamat sa inyo pong uh, kabutihan at pagdinig ng aming panalangin sa pangalan ng aming pong Panginoong Isus. Amen.
One attribute of the greatness of God is His omnipotence. That means that God knows everything, whether animate or inanimate in this world. God knows the name of all the people that live here on earth, their aliases, if there is. And uh, our opening text this morning even told us that God knows the number of hairs of every individual whether alive or door those who have passed away long ago. The greatness of God has been accepted by the world, not only by Christians, but also even among non-Christian. This greatness of God has been time and again mentioned in the book of Psalm by the psalmist. Especially his creative power and in the creation of human being. There is a story which I believe some of you have heard already about a Sabbath school teacher who hold the children's division. This Sabbath school teacher was to be visited by the district pastor. 
And he knows the favorite question of this district pastor every time he visits the children's division. So he prepared the children under his, her care. And she told the children that the favorite question of the pastor is, can anyone tell me who made us? And so he instructed one of the children by the name of Johnny that you are going to answer this question. You will say, yes, pastor, I know God made me. So the Sabbath came and the district pastor arrived and sure enough, the question was asked, can anyone tell me who made us? There was silence, no answer. Again, the pastor repeated the question. Can anyone tell me who made us? A little girl in the corner of the room answered and said, Pastor, the little boy that God made is absent today because of myself. He is at home. You see, in 1 John chapter 3, verse 13, the Apostle John wrote, These things have I written unto you, that you believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. The word know was emphasized, that you may know that if you know the name of God, He can give you eternal life. That word know was mentioned about 200 times in the Holy Scripture. But the word guess it never was mentioned. Hindi nang huhula ang ating Panginoon. We are told that man and also women were originally created in the image of God. But men and women were not only created in the image of God, but they were also created to live with God. Because our limitation, human limitation, will be helped by the exhaustive power of God. That's why we have to live with God. Now, how do we know God? Really? Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6, he said, For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness had Shine our hearts to give the light to the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. To know the glory of God, it is through Jesus Christ that we will know. In Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
that word fear, hindi tayo matatakot sa Diyos dahil ang Diyos ay nakakatakot. But it means reverence to the Lord with God. If we respect God with love, then God will give us knowledge about God. It is important to understand God because in my introduction that God knows everything, I am going to deal with a topic for of it which God does not know. Parang contradiction sa introduction that God knows everything, then I will discuss four things that God does not know. And there are. Number one, God does not know sin that, that He does not despise. Walang kasalanan na alam ang Diyos na hindi ninyo kinakasuklaman. God does not know any sin that He does not despise. Now, in the New Testament and in the Greek language, the word sin is amarsia. Sa wikang Greek, ang kasalanan ay amarsia. Amarsia literally means to miss the mark. All right. To understand this, there is a story of a boy who was barefooted, who entered a jungle with his gun. And he was seen by a professional hunter who was a markma, yung asintadong hunter, ang nakakita sa kanya na pumasok siya sa gubat. Maya-maya nakarinig siya ng mga potok ng barel. At lalo siyang naintriga. Kaya sinundan niya yung bata nagpapotok ng barel doon sa gubat. At doon nakita ninyo na may mga target sa mga punong kahoy na tinamaan sa gitna. Talagang tama, ang tama ay sabihin natin sa gitna talaga. Kaya nagtaka siya, no? sabi niya, marksman ata yung batang yun. Ha? Kaya sinundan niya at binilay sa niya lakad para maabutan niya yung bata at matanong kung gaano siya naging asintado. Kaya nung abutan niya, sabi niya, lahat ng binaril mo na mark ay tama sa gitna. Paano mo ginagawa yun? Sabi nung bata, madali lang yan at ipinakita sa kanya ang isang marker. Ang ginagawa ko, binabaril ko muna ang kahoy. At pagkatapos, pupuntahan ko at guhitan ko na ang pabilog, yung tama doon sa kahoy. Kaya palaging talagang target yan sa gitna. Minsan kasi ang tao ay gumagawa ng kamalian. Pagkatapos itong nagawang kamalian ay paiikutan ng rationalization na parang lumabas na ang mali ay tama. At ang masakit doon ay paniniwalaan pa na yung mali 
ay paniniwalaan nila. Sa aking practice, sinasabi ko sa mga pasyente ko na yung alak ay masama sa kalasugan ng tao. Marami sa kanila ang mga ngatuwiran palalabasin na hindi ito masama. Ang sabi nila, Dok, kapag kami ay nakainom ng alak, nakakatulog kami ng mahimbing. At pag nakatulog kami ng mahimbing, kinabukasan, kami ay malakas. Nakakapagtrabaho kami ng mabuti, kumikita kami na ikabubuhay ng aming pamilya. Can a wrong thing correct a wrong thing? Never. Di ba, sabi ng Panginoon, hindi pwedeng matuwid ang isang mali ng isa pang mali. Kailangan ang tama ang makakatuwid sa isang mali. Kapag pinagpatuloy yan, magkakaroon siya ng cirrhosis of the liver. Maninilaw ang kanyang mata. At sa bandang huli, magkakaroon siya ng sakit na mga bleeding tendencies na maaaring kanyang ikamatay. So, This is important that we do not do something wrong to correct something that is wrong. When it is sin, we can only come to God to help us correct that sin that is in us. Wala pong makakatulong sa atin ng tama kung hindi ang ating Panginoon lang when it comes to correcting sin. Alright. Remember that sin is not only transgression of the law. Sin is also separating us from God. Who is the source of our life? Kapag tayo po ay nahiwalay sa ating Panginoon, mawawala rin ang buhay sa atin. For God is the sustainer of our life aside from creating our life. What else? God does not know. God does not know a sinner He does not love. Wala ni isang makasalaanan na hindi mahal ng Panginoon. Gaano man kalaki ang kasalanan. Do your sin be as scarlet. It will be white as is snow when God forgive you of all your sin. Kung lalapit lang tayo at taos puso na magsisisi sa ating kasalanan, tayo po ay papatawarin ng Panginoon sa ating malaking kasalanan. God does not know any sinner that He does not love. Kaya master nating mga 70 Adventist, yung John 3.16, memorized natin lahat yan. For God so loved the world that He sent 
His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Ang buhay ay nasa kanyang anak. Those who will know His Son will have life. Kaya, mga kapatid, nung ipinakilala ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ni John, ano ang kanyang sinabi? Nung mabautismuhan ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ni John the Baptist, ang sabi niya, sa pagpakilala. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Sino raw ang ating tututukan? Ang karnero ng Panginoon. Behold the Lamb of God. Pero saan ba tumututok ang mga tao ngayon sa mundo? We are told in this. Too often, we are tempted to behold the daily opportunities of life. Doon pala nakatutok ang mga tao ngayon sa mga oportunidad sa buhay na marahil nakikita nila na magpapayaman sa kanila. Doon nakatutok sa mga bagay that will, that will make them popular among the people. Para magkaroon ng eleksyon, sila ang ibuboto. Sila ay nakatutok doon sa makapagbibigay sa kanila ng kapangyarihan na kung makamta nila yon, pwede na nilang magamit to take advantage of other people who are less powerful than them. Yun po ang katotohanan na nangyayari dito sa mundo ngayon. Ngunit dapat we should focus doon sa sinasabi ni John the Baptist, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Kasi wala namang iba na makakakuha ng kasalanan ng tao sa mundo kung hindi itong ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. All right. God, of course, hit sin, but love the sinner. Another thing that we must remember, God does not know any name whereby we can be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. Mayroon po ba kayong alam na pangalan? na maliban sa ating pangalan ni Yeso Kristo na makakaligtas sa atin. Walang pangalan ng mga sabihin pa natin mga disciples na makakaligtas sa atin. Ni mga anghel, hindi po makakaligtas sa atin. It is only the name of God that can save us. Pero, nalala pa po ba ninyo kung kailan na tao ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo? Na tao ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo dito sa mundong ito sa panahon na sukdulang na masama, na napakasama 
ang mundo noong siya ipananganak. I will be reading from the English presentation of the world at the time when Jesus Christ was born. Right? The Jewish race is lip with arms folded in the robe of prophecy. Rome lay still hushed by the terrible music of the tyrant's voice. Athens was drunk with the wine of skepticism. Egypt pillowed her head in the lap of the Sphinx. India in the purple east of dream of Buddha. China crouched by her side, asleep in her walking hours, gazing wistfully upon the ancestral tomb. Then God came to the, this world at this time of this situation of this worldly, simple world. Right. But God came to be born with the power to save, to save this simple world. Walang iba mga kapatid na makapagliligtas kung hindi ang atin lamang Panginoon. Now, we are told, when we forsake ourselves and accept what God has done for us because He did something that we cannot do for ourselves, that is to save ourselves from sin. So God did it. Now, if we accept the capability of God to save us, can He trust us that we will remain loyal and faithful to Him? I hope na lahat tayo na narito ngayon ay magiging tapat sa paninindigan na tayo ay sasapi sa Panginoon hanggang sa Kanyang ikalawang pagbalik at kailanman hindi tayo papanig kisitan. All right. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15, the text says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be tempted with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, just like we are yet without sin. Ito ang description sa ating Panginoon nung pumunta siya dito sa mundo. Hindi siya isang pare na hindi matutukso. Kung hindi, in all points, pwede siya matukso katulad natin. In fact, I even believe na siya ay pwedeng matukso greater than us. Kasi ni isa sa atin ngayon ay walang tutuksohin ni Satan na gawing tinapay ang isang bato kasi hindi naman natin kaya yan. Pero ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo pwedeng tuksohin ng ganun at tinukso nga siya. But of course, <coughs> he always defeated Satan with the word of God. Na itong salita ng Diyos na makakatalo kay Satan ay available din sa bawat isa sa atin. Na kung atin yung gagamitin, may iwasan din natin ang anuman na kasalaanan na ibabato sa atin ni Satan. 
All right. At the time that Nicodemus asked God how he could be saved, God did not tell Nicodemus that it is hard to go to heaven. But he told Nicodemus, you cannot enter heaven unless you will be born again. So walang alangan na salita ang Panginoon. Hindi niya sinabi, mahirap umakyat sa langit. Ang sinabi niya, hindi ka talaga makakakyat sa langit unless you will be born again. Ang ibig sabihin, kung hindi ka magpapabautismo ng tubig at banal na espiritu, hindi ka makakakyat sa langit. That is just as simple as that. Because baptism is our acceptance na ibabao na natin ang lahat natin na mga kasalanan na nakaraan. At pag-ahon natin sa tubig, iwan na yun doon at bagong tao na tayo at dapat hindi na tayo babalik sa makasalanan na buhay sa pamamagitan ng tulong ng Diyos na pag tayo'y mananarangin na tulungan tayo makaiwas sa kasalanan, tayo ay tiyak na tutulungan na makaiwas sa kasalanan. Alright. The fourth thing that God does not know is this. God does not know a better time than now to make a decision for Him. Kailan tayo papanig sa Panginoon? Ang sabi dito, the best time is now. Kasi meron mga nakausap na ako personally tungkol sa mga possible na maggutro ng baptism at ang sinasabi nila ayusin muna namin ang buhay namin bago sila mag paturo talaga kung paano magpabautismo it will never come yung panahon na magiging ayos na tayo sa harapan ng Panginoon. For we are all sinner by nature. Kaya anumang sikap natin na tayo ay maging mabait para maging katanggap-tanggap sa Panginoon ay hindi po darating yan. It will never happen. All we have got to do is to accept that we are sinner and allow God to take over our life. And that decision, God said, the best time to decide to accept God is now, not tomorrow. Kasi, hindi nga natin alam kung hanggang kahaba ang ating buhay. Mayroon akong nakilala na nagpla-plano na magpakapait. Mga backslider pa naman ay pagkatapos na aksidente doon sa malapit sa San Jose, ang both of them, husband and wife, died. 
So, hindi natin hawak kung hanggang kailan ang buhay natin. It can come to end at any time. That is the reason God said, now is the time to accept Him as our personal Savior. Hindi natin kayang iligtas ang ating sarili. Ang Diyos lamang ang makaliligtas sa atin. But unless we make a decision to make God, to accept God as our personal Savior, hindi po tayo maliligtas. Only those who will accept God will have an opportunity to develop a character like God. Because by constant beholding, we become like Jesus Christ. And only people who have a character like Jesus Christ can enter the kingdom of God. In other words, only perfect people can enter the kingdom of God. Pwede ba tayo maging perfect? Well, Jesus Christ as a human being showed that human being can be perfect. We are told that Jesus Christ came to the world bilang isang tao na pwedeng matokso katulad natin but never at any time did He commit sin. Kaya pinapakita ninyo ng tao pwedeng hindi magkasala. Paano? Paano ninyo nalusutan ang mga tukso ni Satan sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos? Doon sa ilang, three times tinukso ang ating Panginoon at three times sinagot ninyo sa salita ng Diyos. At ang salita ng Diyos ay available sa lahat sa atin na kung tayo ay tutuksoyin at gagamitin niya, may iwasan din natin po ang anuman na tukso ni Satan. And we can avoid him. Pagka ganun, magkakaroon tayo ng karakter na like Jesus Christ. Kaya nung magpaalam ang ating Panginoon sa mga disciple, sapagkat siya ay babalik na, doon sa langit, sa kanang, kanal, kanang kamay ng kanyang ama, ang mga disipulo ay nagtanong, sabi ninyo, lalo na ito si Tomas, sabi ninyo, saan ka pupunta? Hindi namin alam ang daan papunta sa pupuntahan mo. Ano ang sagot? ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, John chapter 14, verse 6. If you have your Bible with you, John chapter 14, verse 6, God said to him, sinabi niya kay Tomas, I am the way. I am the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Ang taga pamagitan, mga kapatid, ay hindi kung sinong anghel. Hindi po si Virgin Mary. Hindi po kung sinong santo ang pwede maging taga pamagitan. Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, No one cometh into the Father but by me. Siya lang ang daan 
papunta sa Ama. Kaya, it is a must that we must accept God as our personal Savior so that we will be among those that will be saved. May God bless us this morning in this short study, but very important message from God. May God bless us. In response to the message we heard this morning, let us sing, There is a Fountain, hymn number 336-336. That's all, sir. Drawn from Emmanuel's veins And sinners watch beneath that flood Those all their guilt restores Those all their guilt restores Those all their guilt restores And sinners watch beneath that flood Those the guilty saints, the dying faith rejoice to see the fountain in his day. And there may I the ball as he push all my sins away, push all my sins away. All my sins away, and there may I do all as he wash all my sins away. Thou dying love, thy precious blood shall never lose its wine till all the ransomed church of God are saved. To see no more, I saved to see no more, I saved to see no more, till all the rents of God, I saved to see no more. Here by faith I saw the stream, thy flowing. So far, redeeming love has been my theme, and it shall be till I die. And it shall be till I die. And it shall be till I die. Redeeming love has been. Lord, I believe thou hast prepared, unworthy though I be. For me, the blood of free reward, all and more for me, all gold and more for me, all gold and more for me. For me, a blood bought free reward, a golden heart for me. Therein a noble, sweeter song, I'll sing the glory to sing. When this will be sweet-stirring time, it is not so far away. 
Father in heaven, we are so happy at this point of time that we come, come to thy throne of grace for they just as we are to obtain mercy in time of need for we accept that we are all sinner and come short of thy glory. So we ask, Lord, for the forgiveness of our sin. And help us with your power that henceforth we will remain loyal and faithful to you by accepting you as our personal Savior. When we go out from this house of worship, May thy protection follow us to our journey to our respective homes. And then, Lord, may we all be found faithful and loyal until your second coming, so that those of us who are here will be among that will be saved together with our loved ones. This is the petition that we have this morning in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Signs of the end are fast fulfilling. Soon Jesus will return. He will bring to an end all sin and woe. And we'll take Sabbath, everyone.